Okay, in this experiment, what we're going to do is we're going to create a salt and pepper separator. All right. In uh, what you're going to need is you're going to need a paper plate. You're going to need some pepper, uh, some salt. You won't need the entire thing, by the way. Uh, we're going to use a comb. And just to make it a little bit interesting, we're going to use a uh, balloon also. Okay. So let's start off the experiment first by pouring some pepper into the uh, plate that we have. Okay. And we're going to also pour some salt. And I'm keeping the camera at this level here because it's going to be much easier to see the experiment occur, what, what occurs, rather than seeing it from the top. It's going to be much easier to see what's happening uh, from the side here. Okay. So let's go ahead and put some salt now inside of the pepper there. And I'm going to just mix that around, okay, so that we get a nice mix. All right, so you can see the salt and pepper mixture here. All right, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the comb. And what you can do is you can either take the comb and comb your hair or you can take the comb and rub it on the carpet or rub it on a shirt or something of the sort. And what you're doing by rubbing that is we're actually uh, charging up the, the comb here by friction, okay? And because the comb becomes charged, what ends up happening is the comb has negative is more negatively is going to be more negatively charged pardon me than the salt and pepper mixture and we, when we move it over to salt and pepper mixture an interesting thing is going to happen so let's go ahead and charge the comb up and so i'll go ahead and charge it up and what i'm doing is i'm just rubbing the comb onto in this case i'm doing it on my carpet Okay, you want to do that for about 20 to 30 seconds. All right, after you're finished doing that, you're just going to bring the comb just slightly above the salt and pepper mixture. And you're probably starting to see some stuff happening here on the screen. You don't want the salt and pepper mixture or you don't want the comb to go into the salt and pepper mixture. You just want to bring it slightly above it. Okay. And what is happening here is that mostly, and I'm going to bring it close to the camera. You're going to notice that mostly what we're getting on the comb here is the salt, uh, pardon me, the pepper mixture. Okay. And the reason that we're getting more pepper on the comb here than we are of the salt, all right, and I'll just brush that off. The reason why this is happening is because the pepper is much smaller than the salt is. And so when we bring this charged comb close towards the uncharged uh, salt and pepper mixture, it attracts the, the comb attracts the salt and pepper towards a comb. Okay, the comb again is negatively charged. The salt and pepper mixture is neutral because, but because this is more negatively charged, this seems to be more positively charged, and so therefore they attract each other. And the comb attracts the salt and pepper towards it. The salt again is heavier, so it, it's harder for it to jump towards the comb. But the pepper is much lighter. And so that easily or more easily jumps towards the comb. And so that's why we're able to separate the salt and the pepper mixture uh, within here. Okay. So now let's try just blowing up a balloon. Okay. Let's try blowing up a balloon and putting that over the salt and pepper mixture and see what happens. And after we blow up the balloon, what we want to do is we want to rub that also with a wool cloth or your t-shirt or uh, cloth at home or even the carpet, any of those work. And what we'll be doing in that case, just like we did with the comb, we'll be charging the balloon up. Okay, we'll charge the balloon by friction and that will cause 
the balloon to gain negative charges. And let me go ahead and start rubbing the balloon on the carpet here. And I'm gonna do that for about 20 to 30 seconds. Again, I'm going to now bring this charged item close towards the salt and pepper mixture. And you can hear that. A whole lot of pepper jumped to the balloon and some salt. And you can see all the parts that I coated with or that I charged up by uh, friction by rubbing it on the carpet are now covered in the pepper mixture. Mostly pepper, some salt. Okay, so I didn't charge the top part here, but I charged the bottom part. And so you can see the balloon here, top part here where I uh, blew the air in, wasn't uh, rubbed on the carpet, but the bottom part here was, and let's zoom out just a little bit, so you can get a better view here. And so here you can see the amount of salt and pepper, but mostly pepper that actually jumped towards the balloon. Okay. All right. So again, what this is, is we, we charged, we charged the balloon and the comb by friction. Okay. Charge balloon and the comb by friction giving them negative charges we brought those we brought the balloon and the comb over the salt and pepper mixture and that attracted the more positively charged pepper and salt mixture and because the salt is lighter oh pardon me the salt is heavier there we go than the pepper mixture the salt did not jump at, as many particles of the the salt did not jump towards the balloon as did the pepper okay and so this is a great experiment to try with kids at home, probably on a, a, a rainy day or something, or a day they have off from school, to just kind of show them the principles of uh, physics and charging by, in this case, friction, and how we can create a negatively charged item and show how they attract positively charged items. All right? If you want to see more experiments similar to this, please do check out my YouTube channel. And for more advanced uh, projects and so forth that you can try, you can go to my website. My website is www.clyletsum.com. Again, that's www.clyletsum.com.